James. And I'm Ashley. Last year we sold our house and we're traveling across the country with our kids. Hi, my name's Goose and this is Maverick. <laughs> Come join us. Right there. Oh yeah! You see it? Mommy got her manatee! <laughs> no, but he looks like he got hurt. It does look like he got hit by a propeller. You guys, we were just driving out this morning and I always look in the water to see if I see anything. And I was almost half joking at first, but then I, I continued to look. I'm like, wait, that is a manatee. He's just swimming through right That's there. Amazing. Isn't that cool, Goose? You wanna jump in and pet him? You don't want to pet him? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good to see He's cruising. Whoa. He is deep under that murky water. You would miss him so easily. Like you guys can't probably even see him, but he's right there. Whoa. Mommy, you got your wish. We got it. It's so crazy to see this thing moving. Isn't that crazy? It's a manatee. It's a manatee. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna open the vlog yet, but today we are headed to the Florida Keys Aquarium for something super exciting, even more exciting than seeing a manatee. Shark, shark, shark. Shark. <laughs> but that is an excellent way to start the day. Uh, I'm so I didn't realize I didn't realize they were solo creatures. I thought they traveled in pods or in groups, but are manatees solo? <sighs> All right, now that we're loaded up, let's Again. head into town. <laughs> the, the funny, it's so funny because I literally looked over and I, was, I always half joke like, hey look, a manatee. And I, yeah, I started- you always half joke and you're like, oh, there it is, there it is. I was like, totally half joking and then I saw the blob. I'm like, wait a minute, that is, for real, it's a manatee, that was crazy. Signing away her life, signing all the waivers. Her name is horrible. <laughs> yeah, all these e signature things always look like chicken scratch. Okay. So, obviously, before you can go doing any of the encounters, whether it be the scuba or the snorkel like we're doing, you're gonna have to sign some waivers, liability, and whatnot. But once that's out of the way, first thing we're doing today is we're heading to the tank. So excited, believe it or not, we get to get in this tank. We're gonna be going snorkeling with these guys and then on the other side of that plexiglass right there is the uh, predator reef. So they have sharks and eels and other things over there and they have little bitty holes in between that plexiglass that you can then feed the predators. So not only do we get to go swimming in here, but then we get to feed the predators while in the water. So excited about this. Wawa. What is that, Mav? It's a dragon Wawa. It's a dragon in the Wawa. Is that what you said? It's a dragon Wawa. That's Wawa. true. It does look like a, it does look like a dragon in the Wawa. It's a shark. Wawa. Okay. So with Dale, whenever he uh, comes up to you, normally he just comes up and hugs your leg, but uh, Chip will come in hot and fast from below and do little circles around you and get really, really excited. <laughs> and that's what actually freaks out. Yes. <laughs> they hug your leg. Okay. So that's that's, that's Dale. So crazy. Yes, that's Dale. So, uh, guys, I'm not gonna lie. The sharks are a little bit bigger than I thought they were gonna be. I thought they were gonna be a lot smaller, but I'm thankful there's like a six inch piece of glass between us and them. like baby shark. 
song be going sure, through my head be, be, and like being like, oh yeah, totally fine. And then oh. I like look over, I'm like, oh, hello. Daddy, do you see that eel? It's green and it's by the glass. Whoa. So, oh, that is a massive eel. So Andrew, our uh, diving instructor, said that the largest shark in here is about six and a half feet long. That's crazy. And then look at the size of that eel. That's what Goose was just talking about right there. Look at the size of that sucker. If the largest shark is six and a half, that's got to be like at least seven feet long. How are we doing, Mom? Starting to get a little. So cool. But all of these guys in here look nice and happy. This is the Finding Nemo tank, and this is the Jaws tank. <laughs> what do you see, Mav? See, Dad, I take Nemo's tank, but I don't like Jaws tank. I don't like. Oh, there's more sharks over here. They're babies. What is it, Shay? They're babies. Oh, these yeah. are the baby sharks? Okay. That's a word. Baby oh, yeah. shark. No, they are. <laughs> they are baby I've actually never seen that video, just a disclaimer. I purposely have avoided it with our children. <laughs> okay, guys, we are suited up in our wetsuits. I'm you ready? In red. You are, yeah, you're looking good. So cool. Unfortunately, Mav is too young to do this, so she gets to hang out up here. Snack. But we are all rinsed off, and he's getting things ready to go over here. When I do this, I'm gonna give you a piece of food, okay? And we're gonna do it one at a oh, time. Oh, it's like legit out yes. of your hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're gonna come right up to your hand. Well, hello. <laughs> so you, you make sure that you wrap your hand around it nice and tight because there are 2,000 other animals in this tank and 2, they all want that They all food, want it. Okay? You cannot okay. let the other fish in here have it. I don't have infinite food for them. <laughs> so we're going to make sure that we hold on to that nice and tight. We'll put our palm nice and straight down and then Chip and Dale will come up to your hand and they'll start trying to suck that food out kind of like a Swiffer. Now, when they do this, keep your hand there. Just open your hand straight for them and hold it there until like they the grab the Like and Lucy. Yeah, yeah, just like the horses. Yeah. <laughs> so when they do that, they'll move on on their own. You don't want to pull your hand away or that food's going to float away with it. And when you squeeze this around, if you don't want the fish right in front of your face, don't squeeze this in front of his face. <laughs> squeeze it in front of each other's faces. Oh, it's there it is. Dad's faces. No. Okay. <laughs>
so we yeah. can feed those sharks. <laughs> Are you ready, babe? Are you gonna do it? Are yeah. you better? Yeah. If I, I, if I, pass, if I pass the, the thing, I'll, I'll do that. Remember, we're not in the same water. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. yeah they're in across the window. Goose, <laughs> do you want to come back and feed the sharks? Woohoo! sponsor time we kind of were more technical and gave you the logistics of how Battleborn battery works for our coffee needs <laughs> however we wanted to give you more of an insight onto how it changed the way we were capable of our being like completely changed the lifestyle if you guys want to see those install videos for more of those technical specs you can check that out right there but anyways enough about that back to the vlog <laughs> That's my choice, what I need to be free Still thinking how we love should feel When I know that it's not about you, just me First try! <laughs> you ready, Goose? You ready? Keep going! Yeah. I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking how we love should I was made to be free. Oh, you, babe. I That's awesome. Chris <laughs> Maverick calls it the giant sea dragon. It's the sea dragon. All right, guys. What did you think? That was crazy. It was wet. That was, it was wet. That's all. That's your description. Mav, what did you think? I heard that you were watching us from outside. Did you watch? Did you have fun? Uh, she got to watch us from the windows and whatnot. That was, that was crazy. crazy. I am proud of you. So Ashley, I don't know if you guys can hear with their GoPro, but Ashley almost backed <laughs> out on feeding the uh, rays. But I, I actually liked feeding the rays more than I liked feeding the the sharks. They, peer, I like they the peer sharks. pressured me. I like the you did. I'm proud of you. Have, I'm proud of you. Fed the sharks. Yeah, but Goose Andrew got a little bit. Goose got a little bit nervous and she had to take a little break and she came over here and sat on the side mm -hmm. and just calmed down. But then when we went to go feed the sharks. I was so proud of her because she came over and she fed the sharks. Well, it is a little crazy because they're all swimming at you at once. It's, and a, so it's a little it was like, intense. Oh. And then you actually got to feed the eel. I am. Did how is I that? Feed the eel? That's After awesome. like accidentally feeding the ones you're not supposed to. Yeah, you're only you're only supposed to feed the sharks and the eels, uh, not the rays or the other fish. And actually fed the other fish. They looked like it, and then by the time that I realized it did was too late. Did you not have your late, face underwater? I did, but the time like when they're coming straight at you, it almost looked the same. So by the time I tried to pull it back, he had already like sucked in. I'm like no. That is such a cool feeling. So this was awesome. This like exceeded expectations. So it's cool. Amazing. So what was your favorite part? I missed it. Uh, being the sharks. The sharks, yeah. 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 Do you think other kids should come and do this or no? Uh -huh. Yeah. You think so? Was this better or did you like the dolphins better? Uh, I think both. this was both. You think it should be both? This is pretty epic. All right, let's go rinse off. So I got one for each of you. <laughs> what? what? 
Eeltsu. That's the Eeltsu. Oh, that's the Eeltsu. Oh, it's tiny. No. But sharp looking. Okay, okay, here we go. So those teeth are teeth from the actual shark tank in here that when they go in there and clean it, he's found them in there. And then that actually is a eel tooth. Look at how tiny this is. This is the eel tooth. So there's a ton of those little sharp guys. And we just learned that apparently uh, eels have, or the green, is it just that green eel or all eels have that second set? So the green moray eel. So that green moray eel that you saw in there, that eel isn't actually green. Even though its name implies that, that animal has a transparent mucus around its body that when it's underwater, it absorbs that light and looks green. Actually, that animal's brown and it's got blue spots all over it, so. And it has a second set of jaws apparently inside of it that goes like in its throat to help pull the food down in its throat. So totally, he made the reference of, it's kind of like the Alien movies yep. where you have the second set of jaws shooting out. That is so intense. Oh, yeah, I was wondering what he's doing and I'm like, yeah. okay, are you gonna take so, it? So its second so set comes up. Yeah. Now, not the whole That's, way out. It, yeah, but no, 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 it shoots out. Yeah, it shoots yeah. out and gets you. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Look at his mouth. That's what was sucking on our hands right there. That's oh, crazy. A browner. Say what, Gus? The bigger they are, the brown, the less brown they are, but the little they are, the browner they are. So you guys can't really get a good idea of what it felt like to feed those rays. Wow. Oh my goodness, this guy's trying to escape. Uh, but this is a great example of what it looks like or feels like. There, that's the mouth right there. Sucking in. Oh! <laughs> this scared mom over here. She wasn't even close to him. Oh, there's, look at his mouth. He's trying to, there's his gills right there. Oh! <laughs> Really? Yeah, we have three of them out here. Our stingray cove, the nursery, and our tide pool. Oh, there you go. Go, go, go. I didn't get Did it. Did you get it? I didn't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's one right here. Get him. Gentle. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so terrifying. I don't know why. But it's like it's startling. Yes, they are. And it's not even near me. That's sad. Oh, Can Daddy touch him? Yeah. Oh, he's so nice. All right, guys. Since Goose didn't get to feed the ray in the tank, we got some food out here, and she's gonna feed him with a hook. Put it against the wall. Against the wall. There you go. Good job. Thank you. High five. You did it. Good job, right. man. You fed a big turtle. Oh, glad we, uh, use that hand hay and the hay to make our hay bales and make the hay bale into the hay bales. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you guys hear Mav? She's like, here buddy, here you go, here bud, here buddy, here bud. We are a lot smaller than Rex. Yeah, <laughs> good job. And what you're gonna be feeling are called osteoderms. He has bones for skin. So you'll feel so those ready. bones right there at the surface. Now he's hard and pokey. Hard and pokey. And he's able to handle himself. 
Of course, alligators are apex predators, so they are the individuals at the very top of their food chain. Uh, but of course, being younger than two, unfortunately. Oh. You bet it, yeah. Question? What'd it feel like? Did it feel rough? Yeah. Um, what are we allowed to touch it here? You can touch everything. You can touch the starfish. Which are always weird feelings to me. These are weird, like, kind of scares me. I could do How this. How you doing, Mom? I could do this. Nice I just need a day. drink in my hand. The sun and the sand and the okay, crazy. They're gorgeous. Two quarters. What you think? Oh, yeah. Those oh, are some crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. oh you see the fish oh, on linked onto the back of it, yeah. like totally natural. That's so, That's crazy. so cool. What you think, guys? Symbiotic relationship. That yeah. is correct. High five for symbiotic relationship. She said it. She did. Yeah, that's what? amazing. Goose, you're so awesome, Sauce. So this place is crazy, you guys. Not only does it have the tanks that we just saw and were actually in, which I still can't believe happened, but they have all these touch tanks where they encourage the kids to go and touch the rays. You can touch the like horseshoe crabs and, and all super helpful, the starfish. Like, like the guy was super informed that he came over and gave us all this information. And then for, I think it was like, what, $3, you can buy some uh, food to actually on a hook feed the rays in the tank. So if you don't want to do one of the big exhibits where you get in the water for three bucks you can actually feed them which is pretty cool so I have to say this is probably better than any of the account any of the places that we've been to so any far aquarium. here uh, yeah any I don't know about any aquarium anywhere but it's up no, there like any aquarium that we've been to this yeah this is great I mean it helps that we got to freaking swim and snorkel with the fish yeah. but even if you didn't get to do that sharks, this place eels. is yeah, this place is pretty cool. Oh, so now in true chicks like fashion, we're gonna go get some food, yes. maybe a little bit of ice cream, and maybe a drink, yeah? Maybe a drink. And maybe a little maybe, happy hour. Maybe no ice cream, but maybe happy hour. Yeah. So we're at another restaurant that was uh, recommended to us by the locals, but I have to say, just getting here, I don't think we would have ever gone to this restaurant before, babe. If this wasn't recommended to us, would we have, would you have still gone here? Even if it said it was good on Google, <laughs> driving, we just drove through some Neighbor, some interesting neighborhoods and roads and whatnot, and it's back tucked here, back next to the uh, the pier, and it's just this little castaway restaurant that we're gonna go try out. We'll see how it goes. I love you. No, I love you. Okay. We've heard there's manatees out here. Okay, give me your hand. Hand. Where are they? Oh, yeah, right there. There it is. You see him floating right there? There's at least two of them. Oh, here. He's going to put his nose up. Hi, buddy. Oh, my goodness. You see that, man? Yeah. Did you see it? Did you see it? Yeah, yeah. Ashley, you got your wish. Two, two in one day. Right. So we've been here for, what, like four days at least, and we've been keeping our eyes, oh, look at them go. Oh, really? They're cleaning themselves on the bottom of the boat, apparently, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a manatee. So we've been trying to spot them here and there, anywhere we go, we haven't had any luck. And then today, we've seen one at our uh, park, and now there's a whole pod of them here. What do you call it, pod, squad, group, pack? Alright guys, here is to feeding sharks. Cheers. And feeding dolphins. And petting and dolphins. Yep. And feeding man, not manatees. And feeding manatees. manatees. And petting and feeding um, stingrays. Cheers. Cheers, girls. Daddy got some dragon rolls in honor of Mav calling the eel the dragon of the water. Well, a wawa dragon, but yeah. Dragon. Don't, don't use your spoon hands. You use your fingers. Let go. Oh, those are tenders. Those are shrimp. She got popcorn shrimp, which are delicious. You can dip it and eat it. Oh. Oh. Mommy got a burger. Yep. I don't. I don't think I'd mind having something like that. Right? I could. I could have a little boat like that. What do you think, Mom? A little boat. Just a little boat like that. Yeah. yeah. That. That's something that I think you could live in and travel around in. Oh, could you? I think we could do the boat life for a while. Could we? 
Hey, you you had skepticisms about the RV life to begin with, and we're doing just fine a year and a half later. Yeah, well, that's because the RV doesn't go like this. That's <laughs> true. Ash would probably be picking her guts out so if we, we did the, the, the whole boat life thing. So we have had the experience. That's true, we have. Okay, guys, just when I thought the keys couldn't get any more amazing, any more exciting, today happened. Today, I think, rivaled, if not beat, the uh, previous vlog of getting to interact with the dolphins. Uh, I don't know. You really? I don't getting know. in that and dolphin, hand feeding like, sharks? No, okay, so. It's dolphins. <laughs> I mean, come on. But at the same time, I think it was on, on par. Like, they, they were, they were this, the exact same excitement for me. I was quite a bit more nervous. Oh yeah, she for was. This I, I cut out so much of her freaking out, but she literally so, was so nervous. The little squirt bottle, she squirted it in for her face, exactly the opposite of what the instructor said to do. If you don't want the fish right in front of your face, don't squeeze this in front of your face. <laughs> <laughs> so all the fish I were squirting no, around. No, 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 no. You don't get to tell it like that. Okay, so. <laughs> and she wasn't. She wasn't even gonna feed the manta rays by hand. I had to force her to do that. Yeah. You and the instructor shamed me. Exactly. Shamed me. <laughs> Bobby's turn. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Oh, you got it. I yeah, you got this. Fish. Come on. I, but I've seen kids younger than her do this. <laughs> so he's calling, he's calling you out. He's calling you out. Let's go back to the first accusation. Deal with that and then I'll get back to you later. So, the squirt bottle thingy. The fish were already crazy, okay? And I don't do well with having fish all up in my grill. And I'm not talking like my mouth, I'm talking like my legs and my booty. Okay, keep in mind, we are covered head to toe with gloves, booties, wetsuit, the only- goggles. Booties? We're covered in booties? Booties, like the foot booties. Uh -oh. The only thing exposed Flippers. is our little, little mouthpiece right here. And she's freaking out that the fish are nibbling on her. I'm like, you're covered head to toe. They were bonking into my booty, okay? No one likes a booty bonk. Just don't put that in. Hashtag please, booty bonk. Please don't put that in. I had the squirt bottle. And I went to go put it in the water, and the fish like attacked me. Okay, it was full she on. It in her face. Like, it was full on. We're gonna get you. Scenario. I freaked out a smidge. I pulled it back up and accidentally went. To be fair, when that. you put food in the water, the fish do you swarm. You can't see. You, you guys saw on the GoPro. See. It's pretty cool how how like I mean, what did he say? Something like twenty thousand. I don't remember. It was either two thousand or twenty thousand. A ridiculous amount of fish. That's a in that big tank. difference. I know, but anyways, the difference of rewind placement. the tape. Here's how many there are. Two thousand other animals in this tank. Okay, so that's a lot of fish. <laughs> <laughs> and they all smell the food and come run. They, but that's not even the coolest but part. But they also know that like people are in the tank. So yeah. at some point they're getting fed. Yeah. And I have a bubble and they do not respect my bubble. So the fish need some training and okay, bubble so appreciation. Enough about the fish. What about the sharks and the eel? You actually got to feed the eel. I, I didn't. Did. I well, okay, so let's prerequis prerequisite this with um I'm terribly sorry that I did not get the fish feeding of sharks right the first two times. Um, <laughs> the instructor was getting not not upset, but a little irritated that Ash kept feeding the wrong fish and they're not supposed to eat the fish because you're supposed to wait and pull it back unless it's the shark and or I, the eel I coming. I did, but one, there was one that like, I tried to pull it back and he just went <laughs> and it's like, well, there goes that. And like by the second time I'm like, I'm done. Because I felt horrible. I knew that he was probably like getting annoyed and I'm just like, I can't do this. It was stressful to me. So I had to take a step back because I was feeling horrible. But like, as you're like looking, that thing comes up at it and almost looks like a shark. So I'm like, yes, I got it. Yes, it does. All that to be said, it was an All amazing experience. Say. All that being said. So you said forget, what, said forget what she said. It was an awesome experience. It was uh, crazy I, awesome. Like I can now say I have hand fed a shark and I have hand fed uh, a manta ray, a sea ray. Sorry, Goose is walking around shaking the camera. There you go. 
You're welcome. Anyways, all that being said, it was an awesome experience. I can now say I have fed a shark. I have fed a uh, manta ray or a stingray. So cool. I can too. Plus, I can say that I fed a. You didn't actually eel. feed a shark. You fed Neil. No, I fed. And then I, other I slightly fish. fed a shark. She fed what she thought was a shark. I did. Anyways, guys. No, the, the eel was cooler because you didn't actually get the to. The keys are not over. We have more. In fact, we have scuba diving in the actual ocean coming with. up. So until next time, stay positive. <laughs> get out there. Life is an adventure. So feed some eels. Oh, wait. You can't say you did that. And make some make memories. Some memories.